Hello there, I am Chris Palmer. In today's image optimization utilizing alt tags video, what I'd like to share with you at the end of the day is going to be three things. The very first thing that I want to share with you is some basic optimization, some practical usages that you definitely need to know when implementing image optimization. The next element that I want to talk about is some advanced strategies that you can start deploying in ways that you will know if it's going to be effective and last but not least the third thing is some tricks and some t little little hacks that you can utilize that I was asked about inside the comments and I want to go ahead and answer that question for you who asked so I don't want to waste time let's go ahead and get into some practical usages and some of the first things that you need to be looking at so with image optimization keep it as simple as possible when you're getting your images whether you're buying stock images or you're creating your own images whatever you're using the first thing that you want to make sure of is the title of the image needs to be optimized now for best practices you want to describe the image but don't go too light on terms and the actual usage of key phrases along with the description of the actual image and here's what I mean by this so I created this thumbnail here as you can see on this page here are the pieces that you really want to look out for if you're doing it from a PC you want to get onto the image you want to name the image the title of the image you want it to be descriptive yet have your keywords so for this particular instance what you'll do is you'll right click go in here to properties go in here to details and you can add okay here's the date see the name of the file here you want to make sure for this image, it was image optimization with alt tags. That's what the image is. It's pertaining to this video. Now, if this was for a business per se, let's just say you were coming inside of here and let's say that this was an image for your business and you're a lawyer. So what I would do is I would go in here and put, uh, you know, uh, lawyer, John J, John Jacob, right? We're going to say, dash and then put in some of your keywords you know uh attorney attorney in florida divorce lawyer right put some identifiers be descriptive because that's what google wants as per the guidelines but get your secondary keywords get your variations in the actual name of the file get it in there this is massively important when we're talking about the metadata if you're going to add that type of stuff most of the time those details are stripped out but what stays is going to be the title of the video and then when you're doing your on-page optimization say on your websites the alt text is massively important so let's talk about the alt text now one of the questions that i received inside of my inside of my videos was hey chris I want to get some extra keywords. I want to get some extra traffic. How can I utilize this without disrupting my page? And one of the easiest ways to go about doing this is, hey, you can get it inside of your alt text. So what alt text is, if you don't know, is this. Like, let's say that you come over here to a SERP and you're going to go into incognito because we want to make sure that it's authentic. We go over here to google.com. All right. And let's say, just so I could show you one of the pages, let's say that it's going to be a uh, New York SEO expert. Okay. So New York SEO expert. We'll go down here to the second result. I have the first result, but I want to show you the second result. When you click on the second result, this is my website. When you go into this website, as you can see here, what I've added is I have one main image. So if I right click here, and I go to inspect, we can come over here and we can see that this image here has the alt text, New York, as you can see here, it says New York City SEO Company, New York SEO Services, New York SEO. So I put three keywords inside of my alt text and the question really was, well, if I put multiple keywords in or if I put LSI terms in or if I put co-occurring phrases or entities, is this going to be counted? And to answer your question easily, the answer is yes. Anything in the source code is going to be counted. But let me share another small tip. This is an advanced tip so you will know that for sure it's being counted. So here's what I want to go ahead and point out to you. So if we come over here, we're going to grab this page. Again, it's ranking number one. You could look at this page for yourself. But when you come in here, New York SEO expert, you click on my site here, number two, actually. When we come over here to the site, 
there's a tool out on the web. It's a free Chrome extension, and it says view rendered source. So this is the rendered DOM of the page. You, know, you see, you have your raw, you have your rendered DOM, and that's after Google processes it. What it shares with you is the rendered DOM. All right. So what you can do to know that Google is going to count what's inside the alt text is you can just take a look at what they're looking at. All right. And this is a free Chrome extension. As you can see here, when I click on this, it's called view rendered source, and this is your rendered. And then here is your difference. So this is the rendered right here. So this is exactly what they're going to see. Now, is it going to be, as you can see here, here's the difference. Red line is it's been removed from the rendered. And then green is something that's been added. Okay, so here, take a look at this. Here's our rendered. If we do control F and we search for just alt text and we click down there to that image, let's find it. As you can see here, let's find that image. There it is. There's the image. So here's that New York City SEO. As you can see, it's not in red. It's not in red right? So that means that Google is seeing it. Now, usually pretty much anything that's in the source, sometimes stuff gets stripped out. But in this case, the alt text is being seen. It's being taken into account. So if you stick with my first tip, name the title of the image, right? Because it's going to be created. It's going to have its own page, right? When you add an image to your website, whatever the name of that image, it's like a page almost, right? It's whatever the name is, .jpg. As you can see here, here's the image. And then here's my alt text, which is being accounted by Google, all right? And even in the render DOM. So here it is, New York City SEO company, New York SEO services, New York SEO. It's all being counted. So let's give you yet another tip. So now you know titles, your alt text. Let me give you some tips how you can optimize your images, all right, to get even more traffic. So let's just keep with this right here. New York SEO expert, all right? So let me just pull up the whiteboard here. Briefly stick with me. I should have had this up already, but <clears throat> I try not to script these out. I want to make these videos right off the head. It's just information that I can share with you, but let's go inside of here. Now, one of the very first things is we want the title of the video have your keywords and be descriptive right you want to be descriptive especially if you want to stay within the guidelines but you want to get your keywords in there now number two i want to go ahead and share this with you use multiple keywords slash variations all right now again you can check the render dom to be sure that it's going to be actually showing but number three is how can i optimize my images in a way to get more traffic. Now, here's some of the things that I want you to think about. Now, if you, and, and, and this is the last piece too, I don't want to disrupt my page. Well, because we know that the alt text is being rendered, right? We know that it's being seen. We know that it's being counted towards the overall weighting of the website. Then that means that we, anything we put inside of that tag, can actually be utilized as far as our optimization score is concerned. So the third tip and one of the most advanced tips is this. If you want to get more traffic, but you don't want to mess up a page, number three is you can add hundreds. I'm not saying that you should. I'm just saying that you could you add hundreds of words slash keywords to your alt text. Okay. Number four is another way to maximize your overall uh, optimization and get more traffic is you can increase density of keywords on your pages by using alt text. All right. So say you go in to optimize your a client's website or your own website. It's perfectly written. You don't want to disturb it. And, but you have to get a particular word, say lawyer Chicago on the page a few more times to be competitive with the rest of the people that are ranking, <clears throat> you can utilize your alt text. Say you want to get number five variations of your keyword inside of the alt text. Maybe I want to bring in, say, say you start ranking, you go into your search console. You're seeing that Google is rewarding you with a lot of traffic, but again, you don't want to disrupt the page or maybe you just want to be clever. Again, you can put variations of the keyword, all your keywords, you can increase your density using all text and everything you put in there is being seen. All right. But another one that often is overlooked is misspellings. 
all right? I probably misspelled misspellings, but you could put misspellings in there and then start getting credit for them. So again, the title of the video or, or the title of the image is massively important, all right? The alt text that you put in, it's being rendered, it's all being seen. You don't have to just put one word in there or one keyword or three keywords or four keywords or variations. You can put a flipping paragraph in there and it's going to be seen. On top of that, if you want to increase your density, you can use alt text. If you want to put misspellings in there or you want to put variations in there, you can do that. It's all going to be counted and weighted. My name is Chris Palmer. If you have questions related to image SEO, image optimization, how to use alt texts to your advantage, feel free. Go ahead and ask in the section below. And I always look forward to seeing you in the next image optimization, how to utilize alt text for optimization video. Have a great day. And before I go, be sure to check out chrispalmermarketing.com. When you come over here to chrispalmermarketing.com, you will land on this particular page right here. Click on buy SEO services. If you need any type of SEO services, this is once you come in here, buy SEO services. We have content, press releases, citations, backlinks, EDU links, page optimizer pro web 2.0s. We have it all. Thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure. Glad that I could teach you today. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you all so much. Many, 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 many great wishes coming to you and have a great day. Bye-bye.